Good morning, everybody. We got Spunky, we got Harry, and we've got a definitely not stock Honda HRV. Today, Harry has very kindly brought down his Honda HRV. Yep. And you didn't get HRVs in America, did you? Uh, no, they're just the just C yeah. And just the CRV in America? Yeah, CRV in America. And this is a four wheel drive model, but they did do this in a two wheel drive as well. They did, yeah. 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 And what engine did this originally come with? Uh, D16W1. It so it's a 1.6 single, single, single cam. cam. Yeah. Crazy, man. And it's still a 1.6 single cam now, but different different internals. Uh, yeah, pistons and rods, yeah. yeah. Forged pistons? Uh, cast pistons. Uh, Vitara pistons. Okay, uh, fair. 90 quid from Speed Factory before. It's crazy, it's yeah. cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's nothing, yeah. So you've got Suzuki Vitara pistons, yeah. forged con rods, yeah. and then the rest of the engine was just all refreshed, new bearings and stuff. Just new bearings, yeah, new pump. Okay, and the turbo on the front is massive. Yeah, uh, massive eBay turbo, yeah. What size is it? Uh, 3582. Oh, it's big. And yeah. roughly how much boost are we running? Um, it's about, it's, it holds 34, but it peaks at about 38. 38 PSI, everybody. What's that, 2.6? <laughs> Am I right in saying the rest of the car is completely stock? It is, yep. It's a stock suspension, stock brakes. Yep. Scary, man. <laughs> Still alive, son. Yeah, yeah. Man, like that this is crazy. And you got a AVCR boost controller. Yeah, AVCR. And then you got, is it a Honda ECU down here? Uh, yeah, S300 Honda. Yeah, yeah. And it was mapped by Gordon at Street Race. I'll put the camera back down. Yeah. You, the G Force has pushed it up. Right. And it was mapped by Gordon at Street Races. Yeah, Gordon Derby, yeah. And it made 507.4 yeah. at the flywheel. Yeah, for the at, at the wheels, four, 425. 425, and how much torque? Um, I'm pretty sure it's like 360 or 370. Okay, it's so a pretty decent torque. Yeah. It's mad, on a 1.6. 1.6, yeah. It's amazing, and single cam as well. Amazing yeah, to single. think what you can run on these little Honda It's lumps. crazy, yeah. They're just great. There's loads of boost through the D-Series, and they, they do well, yeah. Yeah. You're pretty renowned in kind of the Honda world, because you used to have a very fast drag Civic before this, didn't you? Yeah, I had also a fast road Civic as well. Um, an EG6 with 500 horsepower as well. And what, what sort of quarter mile times was that doing? Um, my old EG6 were doing like 12.1 was my best in that. And then your and your drag the car? Drag Civic. I didn't do the pass, but that car did a 10.8. 10.8. Oh, that's rapid for a front wheel drive. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Is that massive slicks on the front, skinny little uh, biscuit was on wheels slicks, on the back? Yeah, just normal wheels on the back and slicks up front. Oh, that's crazy, man. Absolutely mental. Amazing to think how much boost it's running as well. I know, yeah. I've noticed the difference in third when it got into yeah. it. So just run me through it. In first, second and third, it's running different boosts. Is yeah, it boost, so boost by gear? I can choose and, and edit it on here depending on like how warm it is or how sticky it is or whatever. But um, at the minute I've got it set, it's 15 in first, uh, 20 in second, and then third's like 30 uh, and fourth is like 30. Is the, is the big one. Yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? It's got like 2.6 bars, mad. Yeah. And the engine doesn't miss a beat, doesn't skip no, a beat at this sort of power? Right, yeah. I mean, the D-Series, they do blow up eventually, they're not they're not great, but it's doing alright for now, yeah. yeah. And what about the compression ratio? Um, I've, yeah, I've, on this engine I've done it really low, so it's the Vitara pistons lower the compression anyway, so you, usually you should get longer rods to take it back up to the Honda uh, yeah. compression ratio, but I've got the standard length rods, uh, and I've also put a really thick head gasket in it. Just so to lower it down a bit. Yeah, it's like in the region of 6.9 or 7 to 1. But it's nice, it's really but it's low. super, super safe. Yeah, well it just takes loads more boost to get to the same power. Yeah. Yeah, watch this. CR Honda HR. 
RV, all wheel drive, tuned by street racers. We were running yesterday, so this is a piece of power. Six in it, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. What kind of options have you got with suspension and stuff? Because these are quite rare, these yeah, cars, aren't they? Yeah, they're really weird, yeah. Um, I don't know if any of the Civic stuff fits, but I've been looking and I don't think it does. Um, yeah. They do specific HRV coilovers. Oh, you can get them? They range from like 700 quid up, which... Yeah, quite expensive. Yeah, it's a bit dear for this build. Yeah. Right, we have a little straight. Well, after this corner, don't floor it on the corner. No, <laughs> Something's broken. Oh, <laughs> oh no! At least we got footage. The HRV's just turned into a Subaru. EJ20 <laughs> Right, what on earth has just happened to the HRV? Oh yeah, we've got oil. I think we've got a comrade. Yes. No, I don't know if we got. Is there any holes in the block? Let's have a quick look underneath. <laughs> Harry and I have had a really good look around the block. There's no visible holes and there's not a huge amount of oil on the floor, which makes me think there's not actually a hole in the engine and it's probably going to be those pistons. I've got a spare engine at home, um, the original block that came out of this. Um, so the plan is I'll get some more 90 quid pistons. Um, these comrades, hopefully, they're okay. They'll all go into into the spare Swap block all over. and put it all back on this head and yeah. hope I'm running again yeah. soon. I also got a YouTube channel I'm starting off as well, so I'm going to do some vlogs um, and I'll probably do all the rebuild process on there. Cool. And if anyone's into yeah, we'll this. chuck I'll chuck Harry's YouTube channel down here. So yeah, if you guys want to keep up to speed with his channel and follow the rebuild of the HRV, check him out down here. We have the new official John. Yeah. Congratulations. There we go. But to be fair to the engine, it, like you said, that is probably the weakest point is the is the pistons. Definitely. I have to bring it back and you can have a drive yeah, next we'll do thing. another one, yeah. yeah definitely. Do you reckon you'll get some 4Gs for it now? It's probably worth um, chucking a set of 4 yeah, pistons in there. I'll probably look at some Wozners or something. Uh, yeah. Uh, my plan was when I bought them pistons, obviously, they were cheap. I didn't expect the world out of them, but I just wanted to see what they're doing, obviously. What better place to find out, I guess. Yeah, so. that's crazy, man. And we must sort of just remark on literally how stock this car really does look. Like I said before, unless you really look at the front and the turbo, you cannot tell that this car is running 500 horsepower. It's a total sleeper. Even the fact you've still got stock wheels and mismatched budget tyres. Yeah. Actually, Falcons aren't too bad, yeah, to be fair. Right. At least got one premium tyre in the corner. Yeah. Luckily, Harry has AA membership. I did offer my RAC because I have RAC just in case John's a bit of a bell mitt. <laughs> Out to the AA. Please listen carefully to the following four options. If you have been involved in an accident or collision, press one. Well, I shit myself. That's kind of an accident. accident. <laughs> Poor Harry man, to be fair, Rich was a really nice chap, so we've got a couple of hours of driving to do, but hopefully he's gonna keep him keep him company. <laughs> yeah. Woo Sorry to you guys that we couldn't make the review a little bit longer, but these things happen, unfortunately, and, and I certainly can't talk because my car only lasted six days and he's had that for about a month, so it definitely lasts a bit longer than mine. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this cheeky little video. I've got a mental 
rear wheel drive Civic EG coming up on Monday, 500 horsepower and rear wheel drive. It's gonna be absolutely next level, so hopefully you guys are gonna stick around to watch it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this little cheeky installment of VTEC and we look forward to seeing you soon.